Well, hello! Welcome to Easy Company Collectibles. And today I'm your host, Easy. We're going to be looking at something. Quite frankly, I'm sitting on it. And, uh, it's going to be big. Am I going to break it? Find out on today's episode of Easy Company Collectibles. No, but in all seriousness, check out CollectorZone.com as well as Big Bad Toy Store, links are both down below. But if you use my code at collectorzone.com, EZCZ, you save 5% off of anything on the website. Money! So today we're looking at, so today we're looking at, if you haven't tell by the uh, thingamajigger yet, the title, Iron Studios 1 4th Scale Darth Vader. Now I have this table ready for me over here. And then uh, the statue things down here. So what I'm going to do is scroll down so you guys can see the unboxing. And then pick it up here and then somehow review it. So here this is. This is the Iron Studios uh, 1 4th Vader. That's the box size as you can see. Unfinished pentagram stars. I like that they're adding the little devil's theme on it. Uh, I don't know if that's Sideshow whoever it came from. And to note this isn't mine. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like we got all the tape. Obviously, I haven't opened this up yet. Um, it looks like we got all the tape off. He sent it to me as a commission, all right? And I was supposed to paint it up. And he's like, you know what, Easy, your art sucks. Give it back. All right, so it's a massive box. And ooh, we have this little one-fourth legacy replica. So as soon as you open up, as you can see, Vader's little notebook here. Um, I'm not sure if the lightsaber is a cathode blade. It looks like it is. Oh, that looks pretty neat. That looks neat. That looks really neat. Hey, uh, Gala, you uh, selling this? I like this. So whatever is in this little magazine book thing is basically like little art that displays whatever is in the statue. And we'll look at that later. And then we have the uh, box itself, which is freaking massive um i'm not sure how i'm gonna take this out all right so here we have the box which i'm trying to get right here without slamming everything here's the box and the um art of it you can barely see let me lower the camera here it is right here as you can see i can only go so low and that's the cover art for it basically almost like a hot toys and sideshow box being that they do dictate, uh, Lucasfilm does dictate what the boxes look like, I'm pretty sure. So now getting this out is going to be very hard. It's very heavy. All right, so here is the box. Uh, well, the styrofoam packing. I really, really got to be careful opening this up because I do know it's very fragile. Okay, so... Here we have it. There's two layers. First is the uh, top one, which this looks like Vader itself. Now, I'm thinking the base is gonna be on the bottom. So, as any collector would know, base first. I'm gonna take a quick picture of this because when I box it back up, I don't have to know. All right, so here we're gonna have the base. Now this is Gigantamundo. I don't know where I would put all this in my collection, but man, this base is just massive. As you can see, it's a big footprint. It seems as if it's made out of polystone, polystone resin mix. Yeah, that is just amazingly huge. And I'm guessing, oh, it does take AA batteries. Oh God, if I drop this right now, and then the bottom of it, I'm gonna show you while I can. It's that right there. Ugh. All right, so I got most of the base parts out, so I'm gonna go back to the top, which has Vader on it. So, as you can see, this is what comes on him, or what's in the box and stuff, so I'm gonna go up and bring you guys to the uh, actual statue. All right, so here we have the statue, um, it has little pieces going on. Gonna really have to read the instruction booklet, which I'm pretty sure is this. But let's get out the main attraction first. I hope this unboxing is not too messy. I uh, really don't know where to begin or start or go. 
with uh, Vader here. So let's just put his whole mass of a body on. Let's peg it in. Looks like it just drops in there quite nicely. And then his cape does seem to be uh, wired. It's not the best of wires, I can tell you. It's kind of, oh, it kind of, kind of looks okay on him. That's that's all about what I would say about the wiring. And then here you have his belt. Now come on, um, easy. Don't screw this up. Let's put the belt right here. Now I do believe these things light up. Yeah, they do light up, but I'm not getting a battery trace out of it. So it just probably needs some batteries. I'm not going to go through and put batteries in and all that stuff because it's a bit complicated. And I feel like there's magnets. No, there's no magnets. So let's put that on and then put the rest of his body on. I'm not even following steps on this. I should be. So there we have his belt is on. Um, we're gonna have another guy put. We're gonna have this guy with his lightsaber on. I don't know, but that's a weird way to hold your lightsaber. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. And then here we have the chest plate for him, which does light up, as you can see. It does have a light up feature in there. Its batteries are still running, running good. We're gonna turn that off for now, um, and it plugs in right here. On the chest so that goes in right there very nice and strong uh, attachments in there so like that that's pretty cool and then we're gonna unbox one of his uh, other arms which is a classic I'm gonna choke you out bitch type arm oh that's a zombie look right there as you can see I'm gonna do this actually so now I got him on a little turntable I hope he's hope he's not he's clear yeah he's pretty clear um, this is a this is coming out to a very nice piece. I wonder if it's still available on uh, from Iron Studios. This is a very nice looking piece. Here, I guess, is his outer cape, which has a lot of stuff going on. I'm gonna go ahead, put that around him. Um, that way, it'll be nice and dandy when I put the head on last, because, you know, best stuff go on last. Here's his other hilt that he comes with. This hilt is not in the um, body, it's like attached to the body. This is just the hilt to hang off of his belt, which goes right here, I believe, right there. And that's nicely hanging there. I'll just leave that on for dramatic effect. But look at that, so far, that guy is looking fearsome. I mean, that is sick looking. It's big, I mean, look at that. The size of him, let me get in par with him. The size of this guy is huge. One fourth scale, Vader is massive. I got a one four scale Batman, and that guy looks like a bitch compared to something like this. I mean, this is something nice. I like it. And then here we have, oh no, I want this arm in. I want this arm in here, because look at this. Look at this guy. This is that, give me your legs. I want your legs for my being. I really like that. Actually, I like the other one better. The other one looks a lot nicer. I don't know why. I like that. I like that. He's coming at you, reaching with you at a strong entanglement. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, oh man, I love the pieces. Here is the helmet. Vader's helmet is nice and shiny. Obviously, this is Empire Strikes Back, but man, let's polish that up a little bit. Man, this is a nice piece. I really like it. I really do like this. I mean, I haven't, I haven't dealt with anything Vader in, in like forever on my channel, as you know, guys, because I'm waiting and the cream de la creme on top. I'm waiting for that ultimate Vader um, for Hot Toys to make so I can uh, finally have him in my collection because I don't, I don't have a single Vader, which is kind of messed up. So there it is. Um, the base does light up. I can't show you that because I didn't come prepared. And there's a few more pieces here and there, like this, um, that goes around something laying on the floor, hooks up somewhere. Uh, not going to go into too much of that because, I mean, this guy really doesn't need all of that. And uh, how do you turn this on? All right, so this hand, actually, that's why it's all weird. You can have him 
opposed to a lightsaber holding a lightsaber, just normal, I guess. I don't know, but I this goes on to this. Like it kind of it plugs in. This is complicated, man. Uh, this plugs in here, and then we have him holding the lightsaber at an angle or such. I think that's the way it's supposed to go right here. It's not really wanting to plug in. I hate dealing with big old expensive pieces, but here we have the Vader lightsaber. This is supposed to, actually this belt is supposed to be going around his tunic. But uh, you guys get the idea here. Here we have the Vader. Uh, this does light up, but it requires batteries. And guess who doesn't have batteries? I would have to say that Vader, this is more of a preview, guys. Don't, uh, I'm not a professional statue reviewer, so I wouldn't know, you know, like, as far as material-wise and stuff. Because statues is a whole new ball, ball game. Like, it's completely a new take on stuff. And I, I just, I'm not good enough for it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you around town. I mean, this guy is making some kind of sound. But all throughout the a whole, oh, well, there's a switch. I don't know. Like I said, this guy needs batteries. I'm gonna find something. All right, guys, I put some batteries. Oh, what? Well, there it is. So there it is with the saber lit up. As you can see, if you can. This also lit up. There's an LED light in there. Boom, boom. I'm gonna turn off the lights real quick, as you, so you guys can tell um, as far as lights go on this statue. Boop. That's what turns off my lights. But um, that's it's pretty cool looking. It looks good. I mean, for running on three AA batteries, this cathode saber is not that bad. It just hooks in. As you can see, it just hooks into that plug and then it's all wired, I guess, in the inside to his leg that plugs. It's all like it. It's a lot of tech going on right here. And uh, let's, um, oh man, I should have done this first. His belt does light up. I don't know how to put batteries or I'm not even going to try because I don't even have those kind of batteries anyway. So that sucks. Um, but other than that, let's take off his saber now. I'm a, as you can see, that spotlight on him looks pretty good. Here we have the uh, chest plate working a little bit. I'm gonna put in some type of hand here. Um, the Vader, I think they should have gave him another hand. It looks kind of weird, I don't know. Looks kind of weird with him just having that one hand for the lightsaber kind of bent. They should have gave him another stand, like a style for him. Um, but overall, I think XM Studios did really good um, as far as this statue goes. They did really good in just showing us you know, like the the wrath of Vader when uh, he was on Hoth or wherever this is, and the base paint and apps and everything looks really good. I can't complain about anything they had to offer on him. Uh, that's going to touch the wall. Boop. So I like it. I mean, the base lights up. I don't know the retail on this thing, but it's probably around the seven, eight, nine hundred mark. I would assume. Um, other than that, I'm going to take this switch off. But other than that, man, I I like it. I would like this piece if it was at a good price, you know? As you can see, like, that's pretty nice. Now, I'm going to go behind the camera and zoom in for you guys. I mean, that thing is just... It looks menacing. Uh, here we have the helmet, which is nice and shiny. And then it comes with lots of hands, of course, but um, I, really, I really dig the uh, lightsaber in hand, so they should have done another holding... Uh, gesture because this one is kind of weird where his hand is kind of twisted upright I don't know I don't know what's going on with the hand but I do like everything else as far as the base goes and just the the pose is, is right it's just that one hand but all in all it's an amazing size uh, statue I mean one fourth Vader is massive when I mean, you just look at him he's super big I mean whoa he's super big uh, probably maybe get a size reference here but he's massive i mean this thing is big because i have the christian bill i mean uh dark knight rises uh batman which i thought that was massive but this is huge 
So if you like what you saw here in Easy Company Collectibles, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. I don't know, this was just a preview. I was supposed to paint it. I didn't know what to do with it. The guy said, hey, you know what? Go review it. Do whatever you want with it. And I did. And that's what I'm doing right now. So here we are. I don't know. Um, comment down below if you got one. Maybe I'll pick up one. I don't know. This fits pretty nicely up above my D12. So maybe, maybe I'll have something to uh, look forward to uh, with this piece. Hey. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to sell it. Probably do something really skinky, skimpy, or whatever you want to call it, stinky, to him, and he'll, you know, give it to me for a good price. Anyway, that's all from Easy Company Collectibles. Very bad review, I know. It's a horrible review. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. But um, I tried. Oh, the lightsaber actually goes. I don't know. Kind of cool.